Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the blower motor wire harness in your gas downdraft cooktop, be sure to unplug the power cord and shut off the gas supply. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to partially unthread the long screws, securing the cooktop to the underside of the countertop. You will now need to remove the main top. Be aware, if the cutout space in the countertop is too large to support the cooktop base with the top removed, you will need to partially uninstall the appliance. To do this, fully unthread the long screws from the clamping brackets. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to loosen the adjustment screws securing the brackets. Rotate the brackets inward, then tighten the screws. Detach the venting from the blower. Now carefully lift off the three grates, as well as the vent grill. Remove all of the burner caps and the burner bases. Remove all of the control knobs. You can use string or wire to help pull them off of the valve shafts. Have an assistant help you to lift the appliance up and use two pieces of wood to support the cooktop base above the countertop. Now use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread all of the screws, securing the orifice holders to the main top. Unthread the screw holding the main top to the blower switch mounting bracket. With the screws unthreaded, you can lift off the top. Disconnect the blower motor wire connectors from the main wire harness and the blower switch. Lift the third wire connector out from the hole in the base and disconnect. Secure the wires leading to the blower. Now unthread the screw to release the grounding wire and you can fully remove the old wire harness. Install the new blower motor wire harness by feeding the wires under the manifold assembly and in front of the filter housing. Connect all three wire connectors. Secure the grounding wire to the base with the screw. Realign the main top on the base so the surface igniters protrude through the holes in the top. Confirm that the orifice holders are aligned, then thread and tighten the screws to secure the holders to the top.
Replace the screw securing the main top to the blower switch mounting bracket. Remove the wood supports and center the cooktop in the cutout space of the countertop. Replace the control knobs by aligning them on the valve shafts and pushing them into place. Align each burner base with the appropriate orifice holder so the spark igniter is positioned in the notch on the side of the base. Position the burner caps on the bases. Realign the three burner grates along with the vent grill. If applicable, loosen the two adjustment screws and rotate the clamping brackets outward. Then tighten the screws. Thread one of the clamping screws through the outermost hole in the bracket. Tighten the screw against the underside of the countertop. Avoid over tightening. Repeat for the opposite side to fully secure the cooktop. Reattach the venting to the blower. With the repair completed, turn the gas supply back on. Plug the power cord back in, and your gas downdraft cooktop should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.